evening, everyone. And today, I am the Bobby Sun from Class 3 Senior One. Today, it is my turn to give my opinion about this very interesting topic, change. About change, this word, it is very simple, as we know. And though even you are green-hand in, in English learning, you will still learn about this word. And as we all know, change, it means, its meaning is very simple. But I think that behind this word, there are many things worth our thinking. First of all, I will give some examples. And please think about the question that I give in the end. First thing, imagine that you are in a car on Friday evenings and you are tired and exhausted after a whole weeks of learning and work. And you nearly going to fall asleep. You, feel, you felt that your eyelids were beginning to become heavier and heavier and even you see that Zhou Gong is waving hand to you. And then suddenly the driver be, broke out into a great shout and he used many dirty words. You were shocked and you want to find out what had happened. You finally, you recognize that it is just about the heavy traffic and the driver is enraged by it. What will you think? Second, imagine it is a sunny day and you felt very happy and pleasant. You are walking in a park and enjoying the beautiful scenery that you see in the park. And suddenly you find a bench and you want to sit down and you just enjoy the pleasant weekend. Then suddenly you realize on the benches there were smoked ashtrays, there were used tins and tissues, and there were garbage on it. What will you think? And the last one. After a whole week, you finally got the chance to go to library to borrow one book that you it really interests you and you want to get for it and you are so eager that you waited for a whole week. But when you reach the library and checked on the computer and know that this book in, so in the third floor and in A area, um, because you know if we want to find a book in library, we have to check about the first letter uh, by, by the spelling. But when you reach the place, you find out that the book is not there and you spend a whole two hours to find this book, finally you find it in the second floor. What happened? Someone removed the book from its proper place and it is not in his order. What will you think? Many of you may think, you is so disgusting, why the cleaners clean it well? And why can't the driver be, be more patient? And why can't others put book in right orders? This might be many of us thinking about. We are complaining, and we probably will be also enraged by all those phenomena. But for me, I began to think about this. And finally, I give a conclusion. Sometimes, when we face changes, try to change yourself, or in another way, try to change ourselves. When you are facing a heavy traffic, probably when everyone grows up, when we enter our adulthood, we will drive a car on the way. And when we are facing a heavy traffic, please do not just complain about it. If you are not so hurry, just play music and enjoy, enjoy the music. And if you have, you have some question to think about, then just do the thinking. If you have friends or your family on the car, just to talk to them. And kill time is a very good choice. And the second, just when you are in a park, you find all those garbages on the benches, please clean them. If you just clean them, all the, um, other, all the other travelers, all the other visitors after you, they will have a better environment and they will enjoy the beautiful scenery and they will not be enraged by this, um, how to say, by this disgusting view. And when you're facing that the books are put in wrong order, probably just spend 10 minutes or even 5 minutes to put some of them back into their right order. This will bring much convenience for the other reader. So, I think that, I think that the only thing in this world that will never change is the change itself. And when we're facing changes, many of us will think that why should not others to change for us? 
But let us think about this question again. Who is the initiator of this action? Is others or ourselves? Just like a very popular sentence, if we want to beat magic, then we should use magic. If we cannot beat our enemies, we will join them. And probably uh, when we're facing changes, we could use this too. When we're facing changes, we will change ourselves to make the change itself uh, probably better, probably to make it more pleasant. And uh, if we're facing changes, if we just change our preparations, and that will make everything better again. So I think when we are in our lives, if we cannot avoid the changes in our life, if we cannot avoid the changes to ruin our preparations, then we can make some changes to make our preparation not be, not be so useless. We will, we will make some changes to make those changes will, will not influence us. So all in law, my opinion is when we're facing changes, try to change ourselves. And probably that is a good choice. Thank you.